Hello, Grade 6 learners! Welcome to Mathematics 6, Quarter 3, Lesson 2. I am your teacher, Teacher Ness. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Come on! At the end of this video lesson, you can formulate the rule in finding the end term using different strategies. Be ready! Before we proceed to our lesson, let us first understand the following words. First is pattern. Pattern is a series or sequence that repeats. Next, math patterns. These are sequences that repeat based on a rule. Third, sequence. Sequence is a list of numbers or objects arranged in a particular order. Term. Term is a number or object of the sequence. Each term can be obtained by using a pattern or a rule. Now, let us start today's lesson. Now, let us try another sequence. Let us find the next three terms by formulating the end rule. So, this is our sequence. 1, 3, 5, 7. The first term is 1. The second term is 3. The third term is 5. And the fourth term is 7. As you can see, the common difference is 2. Again, let us represent position as a letter N. So the pattern here, it adds 2. Now, let us find the next three terms by formulating the nth rule. Because it adds 2, we are going to use the formula or the rule 2n or 2 times n. So the first term here is 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. And 2 times 4 equals 8. Is the sequence the same? This is 1, 3, 5, 7. This is 2, 4, 6, 8. Hmm. It also adds 2, but it's not the same with our sequence. Can you see another pattern here? Look! There is a common difference of 1, 2 instead of 1, 4 instead of 3, 6 instead of 5, and 8 instead of 7. So there is a common difference of 1. So what rule are we going to use here? Again, if we are going to use 2n alone, it's not right. So it's different from our sequence. Because there is a common difference of 1, we can use 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 1. So it's now the same, right? Next, 2 times 2 minus 1 equals 3. Next, 2 times 3 minus 1 equals 5. And 2 times 4 minus 1 equals 7. As you can see, 2 does not change. Minus 1 does not change. 1, 2, 3, 4 change because this is the end or the position of the term. So, the rule here now is 2n or 2 times n minus 1. 
two and is not right. Two and minus one is the correct rule. Now let us use the rule two and minus one to get the next three terms. We are looking for the fifth term, the sixth term, and the seventh term. So we are going to replace n by 5, by 6, and by 7. So that is 2 times 5, 10, minus 1, equals 9. Next. 2 times 6 is 12, minus 1 equals 11. Next, 2 times 7 is 14, minus 1 equals 13. So the fifth term is 9, the sixth term is 11, and the seventh term is 13. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. That's the correct sequence. Now, let us have another sequence. We have 4, 10, 16, 22. Again, we are going to use N as the position. What's the pattern here? To get to the next term, it adds 6. So we are going to use 6n or 6 times n. 6 times n or 6 times 1 is equal to 6. 6 times 2 is equal to 12. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. And 6 times 4 is 24. 6, 12, 18, 24. It's not the same with our sequence. 4, 10, 16, 22. Hmm, can you see another pattern here? Uh huh. The common difference here is 2. So we can use 6 times 1 minus 2 because there is a common difference of 2. So 6 times 1 equals 6 minus 2 equals 4. Next, 6 times 2 equals 12 minus 2 equals 10. 6 times 3 minus 2 equals 16. 6 times 4 is 24 minus 2 equals 22. So it's now the same, right? 4, 10, 16, 22. As you can see, 6 does not change. Minus 2 does not change. 1, 2, 3, 4 changed because this is the position that is replaced by the letter N or represented by the letter N. So we can use the rule 6 times N minus 2. So now let us find the next three terms using the Nth rule that we formulated a while ago. So again, the sequence is 4, 10, 16, 22. So we are going to look for the 5th term, 6th term, and 7th term. So the rule here now is 6n minus 2. So let us replace n by 5, 6, and 7. So 6 times 5 is 30 minus 2 equals 28. 6 times 6 is 36 minus 2 is 34. 6 times 7 minus 2 is equal to 40. 
So the fifth term is 28. The sixth term is 34. And let us have another sequence. 4, 7, 10, 13. As you can see, it adds 3. So the pattern here is adding 3. So we are going to use the rule 3 times n. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. And 3 times 4 is 12. Oh no, it's not the same again. As you can see, this is 4, 7, 10, 13. And this is 3, 6, 9, 12. Can you see another pattern here? Instead of 3, it became 4. Instead of 6, it is 7. Instead of 9, it is 10. And it, instead of 12, it is 13. So there is... Hmm, that's more than one, right? We are going to use 3 times 1 plus 1 because that's more than 1 is equal to 4. So it's now the same, right? So let's see. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 equals 7. 3 times 3 plus 1 equals 10. And 3 times 4 plus 1 equals 30. It's now the same, right? 4, 7, 10, 30. So the rule here is 3n plus 1 instead of 3n alone. 3n is not the correct rule. 3n plus 1 is the correct rule. find the next three terms using the nth rule, 3n plus 1. So we are going to replace n by 5, 6, and 7. So 3 times 5 is 15 plus 1 equals 16. 3 times 6 plus 1 equals 19. 3 times 7 plus 1 equals 22. So the next three terms are 16, 19, and 22. Is everything clear so far? I hope so. Now let us try this. You can do this in your notebook. You can pause the video if you need more time to answer this activity. I will now reveal the answers. Again, pause this video if you need more time or if you're not yet done before going to the answer key. Did you get four or more items correctly? Let us do another activity. You can do this in your notebook. 
And again, please pause the video if you're not yet done before going to the answer key. I will now reveal the answers. Please pause the video if you're not yet done. Did you get four or more items correctly? Good job! Now, let us summarize the lesson. How do we find or formulate the end rule? First, look for the pattern. Second, formulate and apply the end rule. Third, check if the resulting terms match the terms in the sequence. If not, look again for the pattern. Formulate another end rule and apply, and check if the resulting terms match the terms in the sequence. That's easy, right? Thank you for watching! I hope you learned something new! If you have any questions and or clarifications, feel free to get in touch with me through my email address, mobile number, or even in Facebook Messenger app. Thank you for joining today's class. See you soon!